guys assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and a very good day so today i'm going to share to all of you about an energy storage application which is lithium ion battery so as you can see here this is the machine what we call the battery tester so most of the analysis most of the electrochemical analysis for lithium ion battery can be obtained from battery tester or battery analyzer so what you need to have is you you need to have a complete coin cell so when you go to a um, hardware or even a mr diy or battery store you can see what we call that a coin cell which is cr2032 it's about the kind and also the size this is for three volt coin cell you can see this coin cell so what i'm going to highlight here you can actually prepare this coin cell in a lab scale so how are you going to do so basically the elements of coin cell we have anode we have cathode we also have electrolyte and also the other components so researcher can study either each of the elements or component to enhance the performance of the coin cell so it's quite simple for example in this lab what we did is we study the composition of anode we try to find a new composite material so nowadays a, a robust synthesis about maxine we try to incorporate maxine with other materials for example activated carbon and then we try to become an anode in this coin cell so before that i would like to highlight here you should be careful about the term when we produce a single coin cell it can be only for half cell it also can only be for full cell so both terms we regards your material either as anode or cathode for example when we prepare our material for half cell so our material is our active material we regard it as an anode in half cell however when we try to fabricate a full cell our anode will turn into cathode you must look into the mechanism and then you can identify which one is anode and which one is cathode so it's quite simple here as you can see from the battery tester slot number one and slot number two the experiment is really ongoing you can see the red wire is positive the black wire is negative we just clip because we know that this is the positive case and the other side is negative case we just clip the coin cell and from the measurement you can sub uh, the same you can set up the same what we call that the same methodology as galvanostatic charge discharge almost the same with potential stat but for battery test they is more robust so for a new person in the lithium ion battery we have some analysis that can be used uh, to measure your performance for example first one gcd galvanostatic charge discharge even from gcd you can run for a stability test normally what i see from the paper they run for 100 cycle maybe if they want to use a smaller cycle maybe they go for 50 or 80 normally nowadays they go for longer cycle however a lot of people might curious why in supercapacitor we tend to do the stability for 5000 cycle 10000 cycle why in battery we just use a small range of cycle because in battery uh, one of the characteristic of battery is they need a longer charging time that's why for battery they are using a lower current density that's why in battery they will take long time that's why we limit to certain cycle we not tend to go to thousand or whatever cycle so let's make the story short so from the paper so from this battery analyzer we can get a charge discharge profile where you can plot x axis static capacity and y axis is voltage versus lithium ion so that's graph number one 
For graph number two, we're going to get the retention, the stability. If you run for 100 cycle, you want to measure the stability. However, for the most of the material, what happened is at the first cycle, you can see a very high static capacity. But at second cycle, it will drop drastically. So this is because of the formation of SEI layer. So you can Google and ask the Google what is the SEI layer. So the formation of SEI layer will reduce the specific capacity very drastically. So a lot of research try actually to overcome or to limit or to reduce the risk of the formation of SEI layer. Then you also must calculate the columbic efficiency. Also, the formula is depends. If you want to calculate the columbic efficiency for half cell, the charging specific capacity must be divided by discharging specific capacity and times with 100. And for full cell, it's the same with columbic efficiency formula in supercapacitor. Discharging specific capacity divided by charging specific capacity times with 100. Then I think that's the only two things that you can get from the battery tester, battery analyzer. And last but not least, you also can study the specific capacity at different current density. So, some people might wonder why we use the battery tester. Why don't we use the potential stat? From my opinion, you also can measure using potential stat. But in this case, we are using this because it the condition is very robust because we need a longer time to measure the charging and discharging maybe like one week two weeks we didn't know because it's, it's take a long time compared to the supercapacitor because supercapacitor is well known as fast charging and fast discharging compared to the battery we need a longer time okay let's uh, look at uh, some of analysis that we can use uh, using potential stat for lithium ion battery application let's go Okay, before we go to uh, the analysis that can be done using supercapacitor, let's look at uh, what is the battery tester measure. As you can see, this is the same like galvanostatic charge discharge. So you can see also what happened. Okay, then let me take my one. Okay, this is what happened that I said for in terms of retention at first cycle to 100 cycle. So what happened is at first cycle, you can see a volt, uh, a lot of drop, drastically drop due to the formation of SEI layer. Then your material will start to stabilize and produce a consistent specific capacitance. So basically, this is uh, most what happened. So let's look at to the potential stat. Okay. So in potential stat, so basically, we can measure two things, the impedance and also the cyclic voltammetry. So this, as you can see, this is still the ongoing experiment. We measured uh, the cyclic voltammetry at low scan rate. So we need to measure at low scan rate because we want to observe the formation of SEI layer and deformation of SEI layer. It's about the process of litiation and delitiation. So you can see from the cyclic potentiometry. So basically, you need to determine your potential window and run at low scan rate. So that's the idea. So maybe about 5 to 10 cycle to observe what happened in your CV shapes. Okay, next. Uh, in terms of what we call that, in terms of connection, we just connect the working electrode to the anode and also counter electrode to the cathode so it's quite simple so let's recap actually basically that's all about what we call that lithium ion battery you can see a little bit of similarity however you need to understand a little bit of mechanism for you to successfully fabricate a complete coin cell and also a complete paper so overall, it's not a very hard and it's not a very easy. We need to learn and read more paper. But both have similarity because it's uniquely when I did the supercapacitor, 
and also nowadays I also did the battery you can see some similarity in terms of the graph the analysis so what interesting to you you can expand your knowledge to the other application but in same big application which is energy storage i think that's all for today thank you bye see you again mm -hmm.